to give some indication of the accuracy of the CR-10. This is on Thingiverse. This mechanism is listed as a Venus box. The download files show this to be a 4 inch diameter. I reduced this to 75% size. It's now 3 inch. Your printer is going to need to be fairly accurate when you start trying to reduce the size of some of these designs. These sections become much thinner and potentially weaker. These were printed at 0.1 millimeter layers, 100% infill. They, uh, they need to be fairly strong. This is 0.1 millimeter layers and this is 50% infill. Same with this one. This could be printed at 20% infill, easy enough. But again, 0.1 millimeter layers. And the only cleanup on this, occasionally you'll get a little rough spot somewhere on an edge. Go around and clean that. All of these were printed on a raft, and when you separate the raft, sometimes pieces of that will remain on here. So you have to go back and clean that up and make sure that these pins are round. Then I put just a touch of cooking oil on my finger, rub my fingers together, and just put that on these pins and in the grooves of this cam. And that's all the lubrication that needs. Putting this together is a bit of a trick. We'll see how that goes here. Get the inner and outer doors assembled and you're holding them open and this is what's called the cam. And you get all four of these cam followers to engage and screw it together. And this piece, these little notches come down on these pins. on there snaps together it opens and it closes this is going together as printed right off the CR10 with the exception of cleaning up a few of the edges where you get a little bit of a burr. And that's a very smooth operation. Printed at 75% of design size. This is actually a very nicely drawn mechanism. The STL file for this nut and bolt project comes with the CR10 printer. It's a very good example of the quality of printing this machine can do. Now this was printed at 0.1 millimeter layers and this was about a 5 hour print, 20% infill. And this prints side by side like this and right off the printer you screw it together, very smooth. This one I printed at 0.06 millimeter layer. 20% infill. This is about an 8 hour print and this is even smoother. 
This is what I call an engineering fidget spinner. I don't have anything sharp spinning around trying to stick me in the eye or something. The CR-10 is a solid and it has been a very accurate printer. I've had no failures because of the printer itself. I've had a few because of me and mistakes I've made in the Cura slicing program. If you're looking for your first 3D printer or even your second or third, this is reasonably priced out of the U.S. warehouse and at the time of this video there's an additional discount code you will find the link for banggood.com and the coupon code in the description for this video. The additional discount is of limited duration.